it's Spazer9 here, and today, um, it's kind of a vloggy kind of thing. Oops, sorry, I've got light in the background. There we go. So, basically, um, it was Friday today, so I hit school, so I couldn't technically really vlog, because, you know, most of my day was at school. Um, but, it is 6.12 right now. Um, I have a date at 9 o'clock, but I need to film this video before I go to that date, because I will not want to be filming after I'm done with that. So basically, we're going to visit my favorite little thing. My hamster, who's gnawing on her bars again. Stop it. I caught you on camera. You got cut. But yeah, so basically, um, I need to clean her cage. Um, and I need, I clean it about once every two weeks, like change her bedding at least, and like wash everything in her cage. Um, I clean her litter though like every three days so you know it keeps it fresh but now I think it is time to actually change her bedding um, and you know do revamp her cage move it things around make her more interested in it again so I am going to change out of this sweater because I was dressing for my date and then I realized I still need to do that so I need to change out of this and do a shirt that I can risk getting stuff on um, and you're gonna be with me while I clean her cage so much fun right I mean, you'll get to see her roll around in a ball. Hey, I'm back. Okay, so I reset this up. Um, it is kind of far away, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, so basically what I have, um, there is a giant towel on the ground. Um, this is where I'm going to put all of her stuff that's dirty, all her toys, all her anything she has in her cage. This is where I'm going to put it, so that way the stuff that needs to be cleaned, I will clean it. And then the stuff that doesn't, well, it goes there and then it comes back in. I also have a trash bag. And this is for her bedding. I'm going to try to get her out of her cage. She should go pretty easily into her ball. Then I'm going to put these gloves on and I'm going to start removing stuff from her cage. Especially since I like just kind of cut myself while setting up the camera. Um, so I don't want to like my hands to get infected. So, you know, that's that. It's a ball. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Got you. Okay, now that she's all safe and I don't have to worry about her, I am going to put on these gloves and I'm going to start removing everything from her cage. Okay, so now that I've done wiping down her thing, I'm going to put in her bedding um, and then I'm going to take you guys along with me to go clean everything that needs to be cleaned in her cage. For the most part her bedding is in, I need to add more later into her actual where she'll sleep, but I need to go clean everything first. So you're coming with me. Sorry for the lighting. Um, personally, I would say that washing the sandbox, if you have one for a hamster, is the most important part about cleaning the cage because the sandbox actually is typically the source of all the smell that the hamster is giving off. So like the smell of poo and pee. Um, typically it's coming from your sandbox if you want a hamster. And then eventually, like after a while, you'll smell the bedding and then you'll know that it's time to clean your cage. Normally, that's what I base everything off of. It's like can you smell your hamster's cage? It's time to clean it. Um, so if you have a sandbox, typically fix the sandbox and it's most likely your issue and that's all you need to clean right now. But then when everything else starts smelling, then you know that, you know, it's, it's time. Okay, so now that I've done all that, we're back here and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put my hamster's cage together. So I am gonna see if I can move this any closer to see if you can see it. Um, give me a sec. That's about as close as I can get because I have a bunch of stuff here, but we're going to roll with it. Okay, so the first thing I need to mount for, so my cage has two layers, as I'm sure you've noticed. So it has 
a layer made out of this metal and then it also has this layer. So when I put that the second layer on, I need to account for this, which is her giant ramp. And it rests about right here when I put it up. So I need to make sure that everything I put in here revolves around that and she can move freely. Now I've been having her here recently and she likes to bury herself in this corner. So I'm gonna keep her format the way it is right now because she enjoys it and it's winter time and it gets cold. So this is her thing. Always try to give your hamster more bedding where they sleep um, so that they can really bury themselves in it. I know that my hamster loves to do that. She like takes all the bedding and piles it into a giant hill. So make sure to like get that pretty deep. Plus I have this special bedding um, that I have and I hear that you can use, my mom got it. Apparently like they can use it to bury themselves in. I don't really trust it completely but I'm gonna give her a little bit and see if she likes it. I'm gonna see if she uses it. So I'm just gonna put it there as a tester. I don't wanna put it in here and risk her not liking it. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna basically put everything back in the way I feel like it. So I'm gonna put her, her um, cylinder down there. I have another bowl of food that I use just in case. It's just really easy because she spends a lot of time up here because she's constantly biting. So like, I try to give her stuff so that she can eat it up here. So I just put her food tray over there so that she can do that. And then I have a little wooden bridge that she uses. She likes to climb on it and knock it over all the time. And then I also have this other critter potty, which I use critter litter for. And it's just a bunch of rocks, basically. That's what they feel like. I kind of like the texture. And they, they, they have like a really satisfying sound to them. They're um, basically white. They've got like little blue things in them. I'm not exactly sure what they do, but I know that my hamster loves them. She loves to bury herself in these. So that is what I'm doing. And these, I'm gonna give her more than what I would normally give her sand. The sand I just cover the bottom. This I try to give her a decent amount because it also doesn't go through the cracks like in the other one. And she loves burying herself in this and tossing it all out as well. So that is what I'm going to do. And I'm gonna put that back on. And this is gonna go up here where she normally has it. Okay, so this is my hamster's cage. It's all done up. I've got her wooden block. Um, that test bedding that I'm gonna let her test out herself. Got her sand thing, then I've got her wheel. I need to actually alter that because there's a cap. Um, then I've got her water and her food, and upstairs I've also got chopsticks on both ends so she can bite those. These are like remains of previous ones that she's had. Got her little wooden ball, I've got her other bath, and her cylinder, and her other little thing of food. And then that's where I'm gonna let her in, and she is right here. She's just rolling around. I trapped her so that she doesn't go that way. She's just currently running around here. So I'm going to fix that real quick and then I'm going to put her back in. So she's trying to reach this right now. I don't know if she can. She might be a little scared. She looks like she's trying. Oh no! Are you okay, baby? Okay, she's got it. <laughs> oh my god. Are you okay? You okay? Okay, oh, okay. She scared her a little bit. She's okay. She looks intrigued. She's kind of freaked out by that right now. You okay? Are you sniffing the bars? How are you doing? I'm gonna move this for you. You're okay. There we go. What do you think, sweetie? Oops. I know it was kind of different than what I normally do, but you know, I really do love my hamster and I think that this might be helpful to anyone who has a hamster. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.